In this video, I'm going to show you how to promote ClickBank products using a quiz type of landing pages. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Alex and welcome to my channel. Money is awesome, where I share tips on how to succeed online. And in this video, I want to address a type of landing page that is super effective, yet it's not being covered as um, widely as other types of landing pages when it comes to promoting affiliate offers and ClickBank products in particular. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to show you uh, the product that I'm going to create this landing page for, how I'm creating, how I'm approaching this whole entire process, how I'm choosing the questions for quizzes and um, what type of tool I'm using to create this type of quizzes and it's going to be really informative, really detailed and beginner friendly. And without further ado, let's begin. And before we jump to my laptop, if you want to learn how to make money with affiliate marketing, then I invite you to check out the links below this video in the description. There are links for two free affiliate marketing courses. The first link leads to the free course that I created myself. It's a nine day free affiliate marketing course, building a website from scratch by writing articles, promoting them, in Google um, using SEO tactics and all that stuff. And the second link is all about passive income. So check it out, both of them, and see what works for you best. Now guys, before we start creating a landing page, we have to actually pick a product. We have to go to ClickBank and pick a product that we are going to create a landing page for. But before that, I want to uh, briefly explain you how this process works, why we should create a landing page and why I recommend you to go for a quiz type of landing page. So um, how it looks, this is the traffic source. It can be a CPC traffic source, which is like a Google ads, Bing ads, or um, they're called Microsoft ads right now. Uh, it can be Facebook ads. It doesn't really matter what kind of traffic source you pick, uh, the one you like the most. I'm going to focus more on CPC in this video, but we are going to cover uh, the traffic sources at the end of this video. Now, this is the traffic source and you drive traffic to a landing page. This is the landing page. And after the visitor comes to your landing page, you invite them and inside them to go to the sales page. This is the sales page of the product that you're promoting. Uh, you cannot drive traffic directly to the sales page because uh, the vast majority of the ads platforms, they forbid doing that. So we don't do that. We have to create a landing page. It can be a squeeze page, like where you collect emails um, and then send offers to the emails that you collected. But we can create um, a review type of article. We can create uh, just a simple, as simple as placing the picture and uh, you know a button saying that click this button to watch the video to reveal blah blah tricks and, and stuff. Uh, but one of the types of landing pages that is not as common as uh, the rest of the types of landing pages is actually a quiz type of landing pages. Quiz type of landing pages is super effective and why they are super effective is because when people arrive to your landing page and you invite them to uh, pass this quiz, it's super engaging. You engage the visitor. They don't just read the text or review or uh, whatever you place a kind of informational text on the landing page or if you invite them to submit their email address. Instead, you invite them to pass the quiz to reveal the solution of their problem. It's super engaging. And the second even more important point about quizzes when it comes to affiliate marketing is that you warm the audience up with the questions that you ask them. You remind them about their issue, you remind them about their uh, problem, and it kind of refreshes um, all the emotions that they have 
about the problem that they have. It's kind of, you know, refreshes in their mind that they indeed have the problem that they have to solve right here, right now. And as a result, they're more likely to buy a product that you're going to promote to them. Now, as I mentioned before, the first thing that we have to do is pick a product uh, that we're going to promote. And I already did a little, a little bit of research and I decided to go for gout niche. Uh, because this is going to be really easy to show you the concept of a quiz landing pages using this niche. Gout is some sort of disease uh, that mainly older people suffer from and they obviously are looking for a solution. And uh, considering that there are multiple products available in this niche uh, with different uh, gravity from uh, less than one to almost 80 it means that people tend to buy these kind of products on clickbank so um, i decided to go with this one uh, not the most popular one because there's going to be less competition and uh, this is a gauss eraser uh, first thing that we have to do is actually check out the landing page and uh, see what this uh, product is about, what are the key selling points and all that. And for that, we have to check out the uh, landing page, preferably text page. So what we do uh, want to get out of this page is the, the title of this landing page, how the seller grabs that uh, attention of the visitors. And uh, as you can see, it's like ancient, Okinawan trick to a gout free life. And you can go through the entire page and uh, put down on a piece of paper uh, the key points because they are going to help you to create a quiz addressing the primary kind of pain points of people who are suffering from gout. Now, here's another trick after you study the product and the seller's uh, sales page. What I usually do, I actually go to Google and search for the keyword for my niche plus quiz. This way I find various different types of quizzes already existing on medical uh, websites that are asking people about their problems. Um, the, um, I learned the terminology as well, what kind of uh, words are they using to describe this and that what are the times for example how, how often uh, you experience some kind of pains and uh, all that i get from these kind of quizzes that already exist and i also put down on a piece of paper uh, to my notes so that i can use it when i'm creating a quiz for my affiliate marketing campaign so let's do that i will show you gout plus quiz enter and uh, as you can see, there is WebMD, test your gout smarts, 10 questions about gout. And if we uh, go visit these uh, uh, websites, you will see that there are gout quiz. There are a lot of quizzes uh, for uh, pr pretty much any topic. For example, uh, this is one of the quizzes that helped me to learn more about the, this disease. Test your gout smarts. Only men get gout. Uh, false, even though, yeah, you can read here the answers. Both men and women get gout, but men usually tend to uh, get gout more often. And you can get the age as well. It's rare to develop gout before age 30. So your targeting should be 30 plus. Uh, then what kind of uh, deposits in your body cause gout? Cholesterol, you... Okay, it's going to be uric acid uh, and so on. Now, after you've done that, after you did all the research and uh, your notes are ready to be used to create actual questions, now we have to move on to our website and start creating the actual quiz. To create a great quiz, we have to use a tool, a quiz builder. There are various options available online, on the internet, but the vast majority of those solutions, of those tools and quiz builders that are available are based on monthly recurring fee. I don't really like monthly recurring fees uh, for the tools. That's why I try to go for a one-time 
fee kind of tools. The quiz builder that I chose for myself is Thrive Quiz Builder. It's from the same guys that built Thrive Architects, Thrive Themes and all that stuff. And I'm going to be showing the tutorial using this particular Thrive Builder. But the concept doesn't change if you choose another um, any other quiz builder, by all means, do it if you find anything better that suits you best. Uh, not a problem at all. But if you decide to go for Thrive Quiz Builder, you can always find the link below this video in the description. The only thing is that to be able to use Thrive Quiz Builder, you have to have a WordPress website because uh, Thrive products are sort of plugins for WordPress websites. Uh, I have one and uh, if you don't have one, it's super easy to create one to build from scratch. It's like it's going to take like 15 minutes probably. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out the link right here where I'm showing step by step how to create a self-hosted WordPress website. And after that, you can go get the Thrive Quiz Builder, install it and uh, set and forget about it and uh, get back to uh, this tutorial and uh, learn how to create a quiz. So without further ado, let's add new quiz. And right here you have uh, multiple options to choose from. It depends on the goal of the quiz. I'm going to go with build from scratch in our case. So it's going to be uh, gout test. Now we have to set the type of the quiz and in our case it's going to be survey. You can go with percentage, but it's a little bit more complicated. I prefer to go with survey because you can send them to a landing page, to the same landing page, regardless of the, of the answers. This is going to be the most viable option. Uh, now we have to select a quiz style. And uh, in my case, it's going to be light blue. I believe it's the most versatile. And now we have to create the questions. Uh, so we click right here and now all we have to do is click uh, add question and choose the template of the questions that we want to create. So you have uh, three options. It's a multiple uh, choice with buttons without the images, multiple choices with images. So each uh, choice will have an image uh, related to the answer and open-ended questions. Never use open-ended questions. Nobody is going to care to actually type in uh, the question that you're asking. And uh, with image, you can go with images, but I'm going to go with the simplest option right here, multiple choice with buttons. And the first couple of questions have to be really simple. In general, uh, I recommend you to go with three to five questions, not more than five. Uh, because the conversion rate is going to be pretty low and uh, the questions should be uh, especially the first ones really easy to digest and really easy to answer so uh, the standard questions uh, that I like to go for at the beginning of the quiz it's like are you female or male uh, because it's a no-brainer and it starts kind of engaging them into the quiz uh, the second question, usually I try to find out uh, their age. So let me uh, put the first question. Uh, description, don't add any description, no ads, uh, no tags needed. I recommend you to switch off the feedback as well. The answer is going to be male, new answer, female. I recommend you to add the image for each of the questions. Um, and you can go for that to, for example, pexels.com and search for female male kind of images. Now let's save and ask the next question. Add a question. Also, let's go for this one. As I just mentioned, the second question I like to ask their age. Now also, uh, no tags, no feedback. The answer is now, why I don't split below 30? Now, if you remember when I was doing the research of the gout in general, I found out that people below 30 don't get gout. Uh, they get quite rarely. So we are not going to target those people. So I just uh, put it into one age bracket 
uh, all people below 30. And then I split it into uh, three other brackets, 3150, 5170, and 70 uh, plus. Uh, it doesn't really matter, just make three to five, uh, three to four answers available for people because uh, it doesn't matter what they answer, what the answer is. All of them are going to land on the same uh, page. Now let's add another question. Now this question I actually got from one of those quizzes that I um, was uh, looking through when I was doing my research and uh, that's exactly what I was telling you about the terminology because gout flares I wouldn't ever guess that they used this um, word but uh, when I was doing my research I found I, I learned that this word is pretty common uh, to use when it comes to gout so uh, and this question was actually on one of the medical websites and they were asking their potential patients uh, it was a legit question um, on the medical uh, professional website and the answers I took from there as well uh, so uh, 0 to 1, 2 to 4, 5 or more because I have no idea how like what are the average numbers that people can experience gout flares a year I don't know maybe it's 15 maybe it's 50 maybe it's 100 maybe they uh, suffer every single day I have no idea but as you can see it seems that uh, it's normal to have only uh, like one or two or three or five or more so let's save and let's move on to the next question now we have to uh, connect of the sequence of the uh, questions so this was the first one this was the second one this was the third one uh, this one was the fourth one and the fifth one um, now uh, actually this uh, tool is pretty uh, complex not as simple as it seems because the power of the quiz is actually you can separate you can segment your audience so if you drive uh, uh, traffic to your quiz and for example you drive more kind of unfiltered not so targeted uh, traffic to your landing page and you promote let's say uh, weight loss or bodybuilding kind of products uh, then you can uh, by asking the questions you can segment your audience and uh, depending on their answers you can drive people to different products for example if people all they want is to lose fat then you can uh, ask certain questions and those people who are looking just to lose fat no matter what without other goals and then you can direct them to a product that is all about uh, losing fat if uh, their goal is not only to lose fat but build uh, a six-pack then you can direct those people to the six-pack product those people who are looking to build muscles then you can direct them to build muscles and so on and so forth so uh, and uh, depending on the answer you can uh, set up different uh, sequences for example if people are look, uh, answering right here uh, that they have uh, more than five uh, gout flares you can direct them for example directly to the last question i'm not going to do that but you can do that and you can uh, create a separate question for example if they uh, experience gout flares more than five times then you can uh, create a specific other type of questions and direct them to only that question and only those people who experience five uh, gout flares per year or more uh, so you got the idea but in uh, my case in the case of this tutorial I created a really simple basic um, kind of uh, quiz to warm up the audience that I'm trying to promote my affiliate product to and exactly what I was saying the first questions uh, the first couple of questions is kind of warm-up questions uh, are they female or male uh, how old they are and then I start to warm them up before promoting the product to them and you can see from my questions I address the key pain points 
You know, I asked them how often they experience, how many times per year they experience gout flares, how long they last and how painful they are, those gout flares. And all these questions refreshes in their mind their uh, kind of pain and uh, make them want to find a solution even more. So it's warmed them up and they're more likely to buy the solution, to pay money right here, right now. And after they answer the last question, they get redirected to the uh, kind of final results kind of page. I'm going to show you how to uh, create those as well. Just wanted to cover the questions first. Now save and exit. So we've finished uh, creating questions. Now we have to create two more pages. It's splash page. It's basically a landing page where you invite, incentivize people to pass the quiz. And the last results page is basically speaks, speaks for itself. It's a results page. Let's create splash page. All we have to do is click manage. Then we click edit right here and we go to the page builder. It looks pretty much the same as Thrive Architect and it has full functionality just as Thrive Architect has. So you can choose the template, it's a default template within the template that we picked at the beginning, it, it was a light blue. And we can choose uh, this template and use this one as um, as a template, but uh, I recommend you to change some things right here. It's a, a pretty much drag and drop uh, kind of uh, page builder. If you haven't seen uh, my previous tutorials on Thrive um, Architect, it's really simple to use. So what I want to do here, first of all, obviously, we have to change the title. Uh, we have to add the image. So I tweaked a little bit more and I ended up with this version of the landing page. I changed the button, placed it um, in, the, in the center of the page and uh, I uh, placed, uh, yeah, I added an image. I placed the um, uh, title right here and kind of like incentivized them to pass the quiz. Will it work? Take this brief quiz to find out today. So they will have to start uh, to click this button and they will start the quiz. Then they will go through those questions and after that they will arrive to the, land, to the results page. Now um, we have to actually build that results page. We go here and uh, click Manage pretty much the same way as we created uh, the, um, uh, the, the landing page. So we click here. So let's choose the template. And uh, well, it doesn't look really great. We will have to work on this. Now guys, I tweaked all three pages a little bit more to make it, uh, let's say, final, to make it look uh, pretty much flawless. And uh, I wanted to show you the final result, how I would go about creating this kind of quiz and uh, ready to launch the campaign to drive traffic to this kind of quiz landing page. So I tweaked a little bit behind the screen and here's what I got as a final result. So this is the actual page uh, that I can drive traffic to. So people click on the ad, arrive to this page and they see the image of the gout that is kind of relatable to them. And I invite them to discover the solution, discover how I got rid of uh, horrid gout flares and reclaimed my life with this simple Okinawan trick. Uh, will it work? Take this brief quiz to find out now. So this is the button that I created. They click the button and they move on to the questions. The first question, I actually found those images, uh, male, uh, male and female, uh, to make it a little bit more appealing and uh, more clear uh, as a first question so that they can start uh, kind of get involved into the quiz um, pretty smooth and uh, you know right away so uh, they you know my answer is male and uh, then the next question I added also the progress bar right here there's an option in the quiz uh, builder the one that I used in this video 
so the next question is how old are you uh, this is the answer how many golf players do you get um, okay let's go for this one how long do you usually last let's say this one how painful they are moderate uh, and as a result they arrive to this page success great news it looks like uh, you have a close to 100 chance to reverse gout fast i changed to reverse gout fast instead of uh, get rid of gout because um, this is the exact exact phrasing as you can find on the uh, sales page of the product that i'm promoting uh, to discover how this simple okinawan trick works follow these uh, two steps click the button below and go to the next page and watch the video until the end so here's another button uh, they click this button and they arrive to the sales page of uh, the clickbank product that i promote they watch the video buy the product and voila i get the commission now guys as to how to drive traffic to this landing page i'm not going to cover in this video because uh it's a separate topic also complicated and uh, really uh, it would you know my video would take two three hours if i would cover every single step of the entire campaign and uh, instead i invite you to watch uh, the tutorials on how to run facebook ads and how to run uh, microsoft or bing ads uh, by following the link below this video in the description those tutorials are free those tutorials i already published on my channel on this channel maybe you've watched those already uh, the concept is the same the approach is the same just follow those tutorials and create uh, ads campaigns and start driving traffic to the quiz landing pages so it's as simple as that i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions feel free to drop them below this video in the uh, comment section if you're new here on my channel hit the subscribe button and make sure that the bell button notification is on this way you will be getting notifications of my future tutorials i plan to shoot more videos on how to promote clickbank products a lot more cool tutorials are coming to my channel now guys if you like this video hit the like button below this video drop a comment below and see you in the next one